March 1st of 2021, I got my hip re-replaced. It was revisiting surgery. Everything was going decent after that. And I had some pain, which was normal. I went back to work in three months. The pain got greater. The pain now extended from the hip down to the knee, down to the ankle. Went back to the surgeon. He goes, it'll get better. So a couple more months went by. The pain has now sharply increased. So when I went back, he says, I don't think it's your hip. He goes, let me just do an x-ray. He did an x-ray and it showed bone spurs in the sciatic nerve. He goes, that's where your pain is. I tried therapy, I tried pain management. The pain just kept getting worse. It was to the point I would just basically crawl out of work on a Friday. It's like, ah. Oh. I started praying. I said, God, you know, can you heal me? Can, can I possibly touch the hem of your garment like the, late, the woman did with the bleeding problem? And I'll be healed. In the meantime, I was scheduled for surgery on December 10th. They called a week before, canceled my surgery. I was devastated. We usually come to church Saturday nights, and then Sunday morning, my wife said, hey, my friend invited us to come to her church. Let's just go. I really wasn't into it. I said, okay, we'll go. We walk in the door, and a guy comes up and, and you know starts talking to us. We thought he was a greeter. You know, We talked to him, asked him a couple questions. Went into worship. Second song of worship, man, I, my body caught on fire. Straight down my back, through, through every place I was having pain. And a voice inside my head said, do you want me to heal you? I said, yeah. Well, we're still singing a song. And then the guy we talked to in the vestibule, the lobby of the church, he was the lead pastor and he starts talking and he puts a, the song up. And the words in the song, I am who you say I am, and you crown me with confidence. So he goes, but I have a, a word of knowledge for a couple I met this morning out in the vestibule. And he pointed directly to us. He goes, you are who God says you are, and he crowns you with confidence. When he said that, all the pain just dropped right out of my body. Burning was gone, pain was gone. Right now, I was just busted up crying. The pastor then gets up, gives his message, and his message was about the lady who touched the hem of the garment of Jesus. So now I'm like, whoa. I got my word of knowledge. Got this other thing I was praying for was in the message. I've been pain-free since December 5th. I have no, no pain. No, the pain that I had is gone. It has not come back. God can do the same thing for you as he did for me. And just persist in prayer. Whatever you're going through, God hears every word you say. And he is there to help you.